Hello everybody! Today is going to be a super casual thrift haul and other things thrown in. But let's get to the thrift haul. Well first, I got this plain black hoodie. I like it because it's just a simple staple. I've been using my sister's black hoodie which her boyfriend gave to her but I kind of took ownership of it and now the sleeves are all ratty because it's all I wear. But. <laughs> Now I have my own. I could give that one back to her. And here's another black hoodie. This one is a zip up. This one isn't. With a pocket right there. The drawstrings. This one doesn't have any drawstrings. This is a silver hoodie. And it's silver. It's gray. Simple, basic gray hoodie. This one says... Department of Technology, SFUSD dot. Okay. <laughs> this part I know, it's just not exciting, but this is what I got. Like I said, super simple, casual thrift haul today. A black tank I could wear as an undershirt. This tie-dye cropped sweater, blue and purple, kind of feel like a, like a starfish? Or what are those things? Those sundials? I just feel like a sea creature. A black Nike zip up. I got this blanket! This checkered blanket. I do have like my Christmas one but like I want to... I usually use that one all year but to make things special I just I'm gonna reserve that really for like Christmas and the winter months. And this one is more like for every day. Nice little uh throw blanket. This um pistachio pistachio green north face sweater. It's a hoodie. I really like this green. Green sweaters are like my thing. Mm -hmm. Black and white Victoria's Secret pink sweater. So sportsy athleisure. Oh my gosh, okay, I think this is the best one. How could anyone not want this anymore? This is a beautiful maroon hoodie zip up. It says dual. And you know what? This is K-pop merch. This is the rose dawn to dusk. And this is the back. It's so pretty. Okay, that's for the thumbnail, maybe. That is so pretty. Them with their flower crowns covering their eyes. The rose dawn to dusk. Ugh, and it's such a pretty color. That's the end of the thrift part. So my friend and I saw Mean Girls today. This is what we wore. We wore matching tiaras and like this pink little boa. I love Mean Girls and Broadway. So when there was news that Mean Girls was gonna be a movie, I knew it was going to be a musical, but so many people didn't know and that was the fault of the advertising. Like you should have told people that it was a musical. I thought it was really good. You will like it if you are a musical theater person. If you're not, I understand if you don't like it. I heard most people got up and walked out of the theater. It's because musicals are not for everyone, okay? It's not for everyone. So. After seeing Mean Girls, we went to Ulta. I only picked up a few things. I got two more of these Duck Plump lip glosses. In one of my previous hauls, I had... I picked one up. I haven't reviewed it yet for you guys. The first one I got was Why Not. These colors are Brown of Applause. And this one is Brick of Time. I really like these. These really really burn but I love the burn okay and I picked up one fragrance I picked up the Sol de Janeiro pistachio and salted caramel there was this one and the pink one and the pink one was plum I did like that scent but it didn't take my breath away I almost got both of these but I settled for this one because I always wanted a pistachio perfume I kind of wish I picked up the plum one instead of this 
because when I smelt it from the nozzle, I don't smell pistachio or salted caramel. To me, it exactly smells like the Victoria's Secret Honey Mist. I got this a few years ago and I don't like it. In fact, I think I hate, no, I know I hate it. I haven't even really made a dent in this. It's just too, <coughs> it's too strong and suffocating. Yeah, to me, this smells like honey. Honey, not pistachio or salted caramel. It does smell better than the Victoria's Secret Honey Mist, but I'm, it might grow on me. First spray, it's like alcohol. Maybe I do get a little bit of pistachio, but I just wish it was better. You know what? It might grow on me. I'm gonna give it a chance. Because I reviewed the Alt Fragrance Crystal number 23, which is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge, and I did not like it at first, but I am starting to just accept it. <sighs> I'm sorry, this was not worth 20 whatever dollars. Mm. <coughs> no, I don't like it. Oh, for the Mean Girls movie, I was debating whether I should wear this, my pink Murakami Louie. It's so 2000s and girly. It's not real. But you know what? The first movie, Regina George, her Louie was also not real. Next, I have a package. It's another perfume package. So this is from Imaginary Authors. I'm excited about this one! I'm not a big makeup person anymore. I'm like falling back in love with perfume. So that's what's been taking up my time. Okay, are these? These are bookmarks. I also paid for some samples. So this is where you would spray the samples. I will not review the perfume in this video. I'll review it in the next one, I'll put it up here, but the main star of this package is right here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love the packaging because it looks like a book. And this is specifically blend number 83. Can you guess what it is? Ah, so pretty. So this is an espresso martini perfume. I got some other samples. This one is Memoirs of a Trespasser. Cape Heartache, which I'm also very excited about. It's the bookmark. If you are looking for the pieces of a broken heart, you might try rifling through the twigs and needles on the forest floor. Fragrance notes are Douglas fir, pine resin, western hemlock, vanilla leaf, strawberry, Old growth and mountain fog. Strawberry and fog, that sounds good. Fox in the flower bed. Like my beloved fox, I survey the colorful landscape with purpose, identify what it is I desire, and pounce upon that thing with transcendent precision. Fragrance notes are jasmine, tulips, frankincense, wildflower honey, pink peppercorns, silver thistle, and alpine air. And this is a city on fire. On the card, it says, When I saw you, all I saw was a swirl of smoke in the streetlight. Elusive, sinister, spectacular. The fragrance notes are Cade Oil, Spikenard, Cardamom, Clear Wood, Dark Berries, Labdanum, Labdanum, never heard of that word, and Burnt Match. So I'm also very excited about this because I like smoky warm scents. And the one in here, I thought it was a tennis ball one, which I... I really want to get two, but I think this one is the mint julep one. So, check the video! This part of the haul is what I got from Target. I... I was on a mission to find Bridgerton Creamer! I can't... Okay, the... It wasn't at Target, so the last place I will look before... before surrendering to Amazon is walmart so if it's not at like the two walmart locations i'm gonna have to buy like 30 dollar creamer from amazon i love bridgerton that much we love sparkling water in this house 
and I picked this one up. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't know it was caffeinated water. Okay, because my sister and I are trying not to consume any caffeine, but I just saw that it had pear hibiscus, and I'm like, oh, that looks so good. And I picked up these two decorative bottles. How cute are these? Like, I want to use these to make, like, Pinterest photos, collages, collage, 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 collages. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I put a spell on you, love potion. So that's a pink bottle. And this nice reddish one is Cupid spell. There was one that said self love, which I really liked. It was a light pink one, but like there weren't a lot left and all the stickers were wonky on that one, but so adorable. And these were only a dollar from the dollar section at Target. And I also got this from that section. It's so cute. 24 hours, 25 cents, fresh and clean laundry service. So I'm going to put this in my laundry room. Right? Like if I hang it somewhere there, that is so cute. Or if I like put it there, I don't know, but it just makes everything more fun. So that is the end of today's haul. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!